What is going on guys? My name is Zora. Welcome back to another episode of Sakurai Santa. Now we're gonna go visit the fox again. Mainly because we're trying to get her out of the way, then we'll go down the list of people and we'll end with Santa Claus, because why not? Uh, I wonder what Akina is doing right now. Probably something silly. Although, as silly as she is, well, she's really cute. I think I'll go visit her today. After all, someone has to make sure she isn't getting into too much mischief. Who knows what she's doing now? As usual, the shrine is abandoned. I can't see Akina an anywhere. Hey, Akina! I know you're around here somewhere, you cheeky fox. Huh. No response. Come on, there's no point in hiding now. I know you're out there, and I know I'll find you eventually. Still dead silent around here. Did something happen to her or something? I hear something clutter across the ground. Something small and round. A button? Why is there a button here? Come to think of it, where did this button come from? Is that fox playing some kind of trick on me again? I wouldn't put it past her. Akina, come on, where are you? Koji, can you tell me how this looks on me? How what looks on you? It's in that moment that Akina steps out from her hiding place. It's time to stop! The perverted part of my brain causes me to simply look out on in awe. Akina stands right before me. Is is that a schoolgirl's uniform? But more importantly, the front buttons of her shirt don't contain her chest at all. Like raging torrents, they press against the, di the damn... That are her buttons, threatening to spill loose at any moment. As I look further down, her tiny mini skirt does nothing to obscure her panties. Wait, panties? The entire outfit is incredibly easing on the eye. For now, I'll just enjoy the view. Well, what do you think? Uh, well, I do like it, but why are you dressed that way in the first place? Well, the breeze told me about this thing called the internet, so I used this his computer and I found all these images on it. These outfits are really popular, aren't they? I should have known that there was something up with that priest. While I am certain that he is utterly diabolical, I can't help but admit that he has excellent taste. It's it's so tight though. I don't fit in this outfit. As she says that, another button pops off her shirt, revealing even more cleavage. <clears throat> I don't know what size to order, so I ended up getting one that was too small. Aren't you concerned by the fact that it's falling apart? No? Are you? Well, I'm anticipating it, but... Is that really the same thing as concerned? Just imagine, Koji. As each button slowly falls off, tearing itself open for your eyes to enjoy the inevitable feast. She looks around behind her. Oh, I think I dropped something. She bends over, letting me have an excellent view of her panties. Even more buttons burst off her uh, bust, puts even more pressure to her sh shirt. More and more of her amazing chest spills out of it. Oh my, Koji, you're looking at me with such lustful eyes. It makes me all excited. Okay. Um. Okay. She wiggles her butt as she says that. Okay, Fox, you win. I'm a pervert. I admit it. You're fi you've finally done it. At last, I have defeated you. Why are you still wiggling your butt then? Because I feel like it. After all, having Koji watch me like that makes me feel perverted too. As she gets dressed in her kimono, she seems very pleased. I love that outfit. It seems like you loved it too. You couldn't keep your eyes off me, Koji. Did you deliberately order a s small size? Maybe. No, knowing you, you definitely did. Uh, you seriously don't believe that I would use my body to entice you, Koji? <laughs> yes, yes you would. She just laughs. It sounds like you're, you've got me figured out. Both of us are sitting on the steps of the shrine. So, have you had fun with me, Koji? You aren't feeling lonely now, are you? Not at all. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun with Akina, even though I've only spent a few days with her. Well, I'm not going to say anything for concern just yet, but I think I am attracted to her. What about you, Akina? Granting my wish hasn't been too much of a bother for you, has it? No, not at all. That's when I noticed her... Her inching across the steps closer and closer to me. Eventually, she's right next to me. You're a wonderful person, Koji. Even though you really don't know where you should look most of the time. Hey, if you give me an open invitation to look, why do you expect me to do- What do you expect me to do, Akina? It's obviously to test you, don't you see? Well, if it's testing whether or not I like girls, then I've definitely passed the test. No, to test whether or not you're a pervert, 
You really are a cheeky fox, you know. I am well aware. You tell me all the time, after all. It's, th it's then that I notice a shy expression on her face. I I'm cold, Koji. <laughs> you are? But I thought you said... No, I'm cold. She begins to shiver on the spot. Oh, I see what she's doing. Mind if I get a bit closer for warmth, of course? Well, if I need any more of a blatant hint, go ahead, Akina. <laughs> she slips underneath my arm and huddles closer to me. There's a gentle smile on her face as she nuzzles against my chest. That's much better, Kochi. <laughs> it's much warmer here than it is out there. This girl! So cute! She's so damn cute that I think my blood is going to turn into sugar. I think spending- I like spending time with you, Koji. Even with the priest here, it does get lonely. Really? Yes, but with you here, I don't feel alone at all. For the briefest moment, I see something past the usual smile of hers. She looks extremely happy. It's then that the priest comes up to us. Akina, we have a problem. Oh, what is it? They found out about the loophole you were exploiting. Oh, I see. Then that means, yes, it's over. What? What's over? Akina looks sad. Loophole? What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, Koji, but we won't be able to spend time together anymore. Eh? What do you mean? It means exactly what I said. Your wish has been granted. You spent Christmas with a friend. Not Christmas Day, but Christmas. She seems really shaken. Now, if your wish is granted, I have no more reason to leave this shrine, leave this shrine with you. So I'm sorry, Koji. Wait. Can we talk about this, Akina? Tell me what's going on. This isn't like her at all. She wouldn't just give up like that. What's happening is it's simple. I've granted your wish, so I can't leave the shrine to go with you on Christmas. I'm sorry, but I have to follow the rules. If I didn't, they might punish me for it. Who might? She just shakes her head. Please, just let me go. I was being selfish the whole time, so just let me go. She stands up then, trembling the entire time. Walking into the shrine, she disappears from sight completely. The priest just looks at me sadly. You're wondering why, aren't you? Of course I'm wondering why. Akina looked like she was suffering. Well, yes, she was. You couldn't see it, but she was having a conversation with the spirit realm. What? What happened? Well, you know how she was spending time with you over the past few days? She was actually exploiting a loophole. A loophole? What kind of loophole? I think you need to understand her position at the shrine a little bit better. He takes the seat next to me, looking up at the sky. Spirits who take on a duty of caretaking for a shrine have an absolute obligation. Basically, that means she has to stay at the shrine at all times. What? How is that fair? So you're telling me that the reason why she hasn't been seen in the town for years was she couldn't leave? Yes. She was really excited to see what had changed since the last time she went. But it looks like it's going to be a long time before she can see it again. The priest lets out a weary sigh. They tend to look down on her, since the shrine is not very popular. Since it seems like she's doing a poor job of promoting the shrine, the spirit realm assumes it's because she's not taking her duty seriously. It's just a shame. Did she have a choice in whether or not she had to tend this shrine in the first place? She told me that she w volunteered for it. But even though she fully knew the details of the position, I don't think she's adjusted well to this life. She says she's fine. She says she has me here. But the truth is that she's lonely. Just like I knew. So what was the loophole you talked about? Basically, you made a very vague wish. Your wish is what enabled her to leave the shrine for a little while. You said you wished for a friend to spend with Christmas with. Yeah, that's right. Sure, she wasn't just fulfilling my wish. She was also trying to reach out to someone as well. I don't blame you for noticing. She tried her best to hide her worries. She wanted to have as much fun as she could before her time ran out. So basically, by using my wish as an excuse to leave the shrine, she was able to stick to the rules she was bound by, and she was able to forget about her worries and enjoy being carefree for a bit. But they figured out what she was doing, so now she won't be able to leave the shrine for her domain. I never knew that she felt that way, yet she tried so hard that I that I wouldn't notice. Where is she now? I want to speak with her. I don't think she'll want to speak with you right now. What? Why not? If I had to take a guess, she probably feels like sh she was being selfish. She's questioning whether or not it was right to grant your wish in the way she did. So, I don't know what to tell you. There's not much that can be done about it. He stands up dusting his robes off. The only thing you can do now is go home. But, there has to be something I can do for her. I honestly don't know. Spend some time thinking about it. But there's nothing more that we can do today. Even though I don't want to acknowledge that, I understand that there's no sense in staying here in the moment. Akina, I can't get that fox out of my head. 
When did I start feeling about her that way? It's weird. Between all of the teasing, I suddenly became, you know, I didn't, I don't even know what it is like, what it is I like about her, but there's something undiably charming about that fox. She's really cute when she isn't pulling pranks or teasing someone. She's dejected, the dejected look on her face as she walked back into the shrine. Seeing her ears and her tail droop like that. I can't stand it. I don't want to see her like that. To see someone so happy have all of the joy sucked out of her in a single moment. No one has any right to do that. So I've decided that I'm going to make sure we'll go on our Christmas a date. That's just something that has to happen and nothing is going to stop me from doing that. After all, she deserves happiness. I know she has the priest for company, but not being able to leave that shrine? It isn't right. So the only thing I can do right now is to try to appeal to the spirits. If there's one thing that speaks in this world. It's money. I've gathered quite a generous offering. The spirits won't be able to ignore this no matter what they do. With that in mind, I think I'll be able to do it. I should plan what we're doing, going to do on Christmas Eve. Maybe she'll like to eat ice cream. Or maybe we could make our own snow cones. Maybe candy canes or something she'd like to try. There's so many fun things we could do together. The most important thing is that I get to see her smile. I don't I don't know what what makes the girl smile, but I'll do whatever I can to make it happen. She deserves a day of happiness after all. If I had to stay in a single place for the rest of my life, I'd be absolutely miserable. She understood my loneliness. She reached out to me because she knew what it was like. And most of all, she doesn't want me to suffer in the same way she does. Underneath all of those pranks and the easygoing nature of hers, who would have guessed that her reality was so harsh? I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. You know what story is they're hiding behind their smiles. I don't know what is all going to go to go with Akina, or if I'll be able to do anything to help her leave that shrine. But even if worse comes to worse, I'll still be able to see her throughout the year. I'll make sure that she never spends another day of her life alone. That is my most sincere wish of all. For Christmas, I want Akina to be happy, and I don't want to see her tears. And if I do, I'll dry them myself and make sure that she's going to be happy. If she's happy, then I'll be happy. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Sakurai Santa. This is, uh, getting interesting. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm gonna see you guys later.